The next family meal I had to order was from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's family meal is the Big Dinner Box. The Big Dinner Box comes with two medium one-topping pizzas, five breadsticks, and the choice of pasta or wings. And according to Google, it feeds four people. I actually did the Big Dinner Box challenge a few months back. And let me just say, I haven't looked at pizza the same since. Oh, about five hours and 15 minutes left in this ridiculous fast food challenge that I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh. Feed the whole family from one box. Why is this even a thing? Pizza Hut. Will this be delivery pickup? Uh, this is gonna be for pickup, please. So I'm gonna get one of your big dinner boxes, please. I'm gonna get that with the pasta, please. And then I'll have the pizza be pepperoni and then sausage. Pepperoni and sausage? Yes. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So one pepperoni pizza, one sausage. Okay. Um, and that's gonna be it. The total's gonna be 29 away. All right, thanks so much. Man, did I luck out. I was totally expecting that person to ask anything else. Regardless, this is gonna be an insane amount of food for meal number three. I paid Pizza Hut a visit a few minutes later and picked up my big dinner box. Looks like it's just after 8.30 right now. Still the same day. Oh, I feel like the inside of my mouth is like a straight up salt mine right now. We have just under three and a half hours left till the end of this challenge. Now it's time for the reveal of Pizza Hut's big, that was not a fart, that was just the box. This is Pizza Hut's big dinner box. It's bringing back such magnificent memories right now. Man, this is looking absolutely delicious. I am very much regretting saving these breadsticks for last. Just putting that out there. Regardless of how much protein I've ingested today, the only way I'm gonna be able to complete this challenge is if I'm able to get this big dinner box down. <sighs> I just gotta shut up and do this. Without further ado, this is meal number three. I'm gonna go ahead and do a start with the pasta first. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. To my surprise, the first bite of pasta was actually pretty tasty. Oh my God. I made sure to enjoy every bite of this pasta because the flavor fatigue was about to get very real. And Pizza Hut's chicken alfredo. I worked my way through the pasta and then it was time for the first slice of pizza. Pasta's down. Now it's time to get into this sausage pizza right here. I was expecting this pizza to taste like an explosion of sodium, but to my surprise, it was actually pretty tasty. Now I was starting to worry more about stomach capacity than flavor fatigue. I worked my way through the rest of the pizza and a few minutes later, I had most of it down, except the crust, of course. All right, everybody, while the first pizza is down, I am so over sodium right now. Like, you have no idea. And now it's time for more sodium. We have the... Pizza Hut breadsticks. Now my fingers are gonna smell like garlic for the next like two months. Even after 20,000 calories of fast food, Pizza Hut's breadsticks bring me to a happy place. I just wanna say, if you're still here with me, drop a breadstick emoji down below. After taking down the breadsticks, it was time to move to the most difficult part of the box. Whew, I can't believe I've made it here, everybody, but we made it here to the wonderful and the glorious Pepperoni pizza. I have so much fast food sitting in my body right now. More sodium than I probably should be eating in like a year. Actually, at this point, I had taken down just about 10 days worth of salt. There's not really much else for me to say except I really want some dessert right now. At this point, flavor fatigue was at its highest. If I was gonna be able to get through this meal and complete the challenge, I was gonna need some sweetness. I need a little change in scenery, so I'm gonna add some sugar-free barbecue sauce on this pizza. Just gonna keep it healthy somewhat. Using the slight amount of sweetness from the sugar-free barbecue sauce, I took down the next few slices. But now, it was time for the hard part, the crust. All right, everybody, well, we've come to the point that I usually really despise when it comes to pizza challenges. When I usually do pizza challenges, I usually go for the inside first and then leave the crust for later. And that's exactly what I've done tonight. The bad news in this situation is crust is very dense, it takes up more space in your stomach. And I have flavor fatigue beyond imaginable belief right now. So, that's a little update on the situation. Good news is, I got wild sauce. I got some sugar-free barbecue sauce. Even better news, I can combine the two into one semi-healthy creation. That's not gonna get a WOW moment, but that is going to get too far. 
The barbecue and wild sauce combo worked initially, but with only a few bites remaining, I had to resort to an old tactic. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh. Just like that, everybody, I've successfully eaten a fast food family item for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can stop the clock at two hours, 58 minutes, and 51 seconds. That was quite a lot of food, everyone. But in my opinion, there was just an embarrassingly low amount of sugar compared to the massive amount of salt that I ate today. With a belly full of fast food, I decided to head to the grocery store. After walking around for a little while, one thing in the ice cream aisle caught my eye. haagen Dolce de Leche Churro ice cream. Dessert was looking pretty good. It's currently almost midnight. It's time to uh, get my uh, sweet tooth on. But before I do though, I'm introducing a new segment to the videos. Prepare yourselves. Goodness. How many weeks pregnant do you think I look right now? I'm thinking like 27, 28. Better question, what do you think our measurement's gonna be? 37 and a half. Oh. You may be thinking to yourselves, Eric, who cares about a pint of ice cream? Well, I just gotta say, this is Dolce de Leche Churro ice cream. That sounds spectacular, but honestly, everyone, It sounds even more spectacular on top of a giant cookie. Now, it's time for some dessert. Oh my goodness. Check out the top. Here we go, three, two, one. <clears throat> this was the most delicious ice cream I had ever tasted. There's little churro pieces in this pint of ice cream. Wow but it was nothing compared to what my taste buds were about to experience next. It's time for me to tell you all about fitness. Fitness? Fitness whole ice cream cookie creation in my mouth. At first I was about to give this cookie and ice cream combo just one fire. But two fires sounded way more appropriate. Using my 1400 calorie cookie as a vessel, I made my way through the rest of the Dolce de Leche churro ice cream. I just want to say if you've made it up to this point in the video, drop a ice cream emoji down below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more food challenges. While this cookie and ice cream combo was a bit on the lower calorie side, the total calorie count for this fast food challenge was far from low. That has been another calorie challenge. At just under 23,000.